In this video, we're going to talk about a very important tool in Guitar Pro 6. We're going to talk about the mixing table. The mixing table is found in the global view, and we're going to be able to affect the mix of our project with all the elements found on the left of the global view. If the global view does not appear in your score, simply go into the view menu and make sure that the hide global view option is not selected. The mixing table is going to give you an overview of all the tracks of your project. In this case, we have a guitar track, a bass track, a keyboard track, and a drum track. The mixing table gives you quick access to the add track and delete track. Let's add a new track here by using the plus sign, and we're going to add a vocal track. In the same way, we can delete a track by selecting the minus sign. Depending on the project you're working with, it might be useful to rename some of these tracks. This can be done by opening the property menu of every track, and the property menu can be opened by clicking on this icon. Now you can rename your track. You can also enter a name for the short name of the track, which is the name that is going to be found directly in the score. You may also choose a color for the track you're working with. This color is going to be seen directly in the global view. And you can also choose which type of notation to show for that track. Once those changes have been made, you're going to see the new name of your track, the new short name of the track, which appears directly in your score, and the color you assigned to that track. The mixing table also allows you to move the tracks. Let's take the drum tracks, for example, which in this case is the fourth track of our project. Let's move this track so that it appears at the first place, and then just move that track by using the arrows on your keyboard. On the right side of every track, you can solo that track. In this case, let's solo the drums. Now if I play my track, only the drums are going to be heard. I can select any other track to be soloed or muted. Guitar Pro 6 offers the option to show all the tracks of your project at once. This can be done by going into the View menu, Multitrack. Depending on the size of your project, you might consider hiding certain tracks. This can be done by clicking on the Hidden button. Let's select the bass track and hide it. Now, if we play our project, we're still going to hear the bass track because it wasn't muted, it's simply hidden. It's also in the mixing table that you're going to be able to add differences and volumes for every track. You may also change the pan for every track and work on the EQ of each track. The EQ section can be activated or deactivated. Note that the EQ will only work if you're in RSE mode. You can check which mode you're using by simply checking on the bottom of your score. If you need to switch from one mode to the other, simply go into the sound menu and activate or deactivate the RSE mode. These changes can be made real time as your song is playing. This will allow you to create a dynamic mix more efficiently. As we've seen in a previous video, Guitar Pro 6 allows us to enter automations. Let's enter a new automation by going into the Edit menu, Automation, and then we'll enter a volume automation on the drum track. Since we're entering the automation on a single track, we're going to choose Insert Track Volume Automation. Let's enter a new volume value on the fifth measure of the drum track. I'm going to click on that fifth measure, and then we'll change our volume to 50%. We're going to click OK. And now if you look at the drum track in the global view, you can see that it's surrounded by a blue line. This means that an automation has been assigned to that track. Now that the automation has been added, 
I can no longer change in real time the volume of that track. If you want to bypass the automation or remove it, open the automation window and click on the green icon next to the track. 